I'm going to flip this frame that I got at the thrift store. I paid 50 cents for it. And as you can see, I put some aviary color by DIY on here, but I don't think it's gonna go with what I'm gonna put behind it. So, I think I'm gonna have to go back to black. I didn't want black, but I can't figure out any other color to go with. So, I'm gonna start with just a black frame, I guess. I think that will look good. I have to cover that green. What was weird, I meant to show you, is when I put the aviary on it, there's where there was white, it was staying dark. It wasn't all turning one color. And I just covered over it before I showed you. But that wasn't the problem. I wouldn't have minded that. It made it look more distressed. So what I'm going to do is finish... Painting this black and giving it another coat. And then working on putting the stuff in it and, and behind it. Okay, it has two coats of black on it. And I'm going to distress it a little bit, even though it has green behind it. There's some white if I hit it in the right. Whoa. Boy, it didn't take much. And go easy on it. There's some white. White. White and green. That is good. It's not taking a lot of... I think I am going to have to uh, seal in this. Put some wax on this because it's not taking much to get it off. I'm liking the way it looks. There's white. Some brown, some wood's coming through. I'm liking the way that looks. All right, now. Kind of go around the edges. Looks good. It's got some white and some wood and some green. Now I'm going to go get my brown wax. Should I use brown wax or black? I think brown. I'm going to get my brown wax so I can go over that and see what that looks like. All right, I have the Jolie top coat in brown. I'm going to use that. Okay, I'm going to finish this, doing this, and then I'll come back and show you what I'm going to try to put in it. I bet you all don't know what it is. I'll bet you do. <laughs> and you say chickens? You got chicken wire and a frame. You got to have chickens, right? I'm going to finish this up and I'll be back. 
right, here's my plan. I have this burlap that I got from uh, burlap.com. I have other burlap, but it's a looser weave. This is nicer. It's not going to probably fall apart as fast, and it's thicker. It's not going to show, the wall's not going to show through it, so I'll leave the link to this down below. And then, okay, where's my chickens? I've got to find my chickens. Chick, chick, there you are. All right, here's my chickens. Probably. Anyways, I used these printable sheets, and they're also from burlapfabric.com, and it has a backing on it, and you can just print what you want on it, run it through your printer, and it prints really nice, and it's easy to use. I really like that. Um, I was going to show you, it's so easy to cut out, too, because, I mean, this is detailed work, but it's so easy. I guess because that backing's on there. But I have fussy cut these, and it hasn't really taken that long to do, unless I get off my mark. Okay, I'm gonna go down in there. I'll cut every one of these little feathers, tail feathers out. Well, let me cut that piece off there. That helps. I'm going to finish this one, but I wanted to show you just how easy it was to cut because I am going around, I'm fussy cutting this. It's just really easy to use. Prints out so nice. And I did forget to put my printer on best. This is just the regular print. But I wasn't going to print another set out because of that. Wished I had of, but I didn't. Okay. Now... Cut that little bit off right there. But you can see in between the feet, I had to get that out. So I just bent it over and put a little slit in there. Put my scissors in and started cutting. I'm going to do that. I'm going to finish cutting this out, which isn't going to be long, and I'll be back. All right. I am going to try... I don't know how this is going to work. Set those aside for right now. But I just want a thin layer because, as you can see, the frame, I mean, if, they, if, that, if the wire had been stapled back in here somewhere, I'd have space. But I really don't have space. It's right on the frame itself. So I don't want a real thick layer of this. Pull it out, get it as thin as I can get it to where it looks good. And how am I going to get it to stay on there? Oh, yeah, my, my backing. I'm losing it. Just I'm tear that off and see if I can stretch this out a little more. How am I going to keep that on there to see what I'm doing? Okay, that's looking about right. I 
think that looks good. And it pushes up and lays pretty flat. So right there's where I want it. I gotta get this off the frame. Now, set this aside somewhere, right in there, and I've got my big glue gun started. Better have some glue sticks ready. Okay. I'll glue this down on there, and then I'll clean up the loose stuff that's on here. Put it down on this side and I'll go to the top and glue it down up there too. Yep, I already need a glue stick. Put some up here. It's not going to need a whole lot because the chicken wire will hold the blunt of it in. I think that's good. Now, I wished I had a... I wonder, well, I'll get the blunt of this, and then I'll try using my little vacuum, see if that gets it. I don't know if it'll pick it up off that or not. Yeah, it works. Put that all over back in here. Pick up the bigger pieces that I can get. stuck to my finger and I'll get some more picked up I need to trim the edges Right now, where's my chickens? What do I do with my chickens? I set them somewhere. All right, I'm gonna have to find my chickens. I don't know where. Oh, they're underneath some of that straw. <laughs> kind of want their feet down in there. Put the rooster. Make sure that's where I want them before I glue them down, though. Okay, where's my frame? Put your head down, mister.
Okay, I think that looks cute. And I might try to tack them in place before I lift this up. Hard that more down into there. Okay. Are you straight? Yeah. And his eye is hidden. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit right there to hold that into place until I can lift this up. Okay, that ought to hold it where I can lift it up and glue them down better. You know what? I think before I glue that down, I'm going to use fabric tack. What did I do with it? There it is. Because as soon as I, that's going to be hard for the glue not to dry on me too fast. So I can go, can't go around it. And I need it all glued down on the edges. And I'm getting that on my fingers too. Okay, right down in here on his feet. I have to get me a paper towel to wipe that off me. Well, I got a big old clump there. All right, I'm going to finish wiping this down and not have y'all watch me struggling with this glue seeping out. I'll be back as soon as I finish that up. Okay, I have them glued down and I found some little eggs that I've got at the thrift store once. And I think they're just about the right size. So, trying to figure out how to I don't know see what looks right Hmm. Well, I'm going to just put them on. It'll work better because they're moving every time I put them down. Probably stay right there.
Oh boy. This is what I needed my little glue gun for. Kind of look like they're in a nest like that. Wonder if I need another one right in here. Kind of set it up. Okay, I think that's enough. I'm sure glad I thought about these eggs. I thought, I think I had some eggs, but I was thinking they was bigger and they would probably be too big, but those were just right. Now I wonder if I need to put a little green. I don't know. Let's see what I got here. Just kind of mix, I don't know. I'm gonna lay it in there and just see what I think. Let's just mix some green. In throughout it. Okay, I gotta see where that frames are hitting. far down. Yeah, I think I'm going to mix just a little green in with that. Right there. Yeah, that's too far down. Right here in the corner would be good for some. I didn't get that totally stripped. Oh, I'm too far this way. That's what it is. I'm being quiet. That's it. My husband say that's unusual. <laughs> I think right in there. Maybe some down on this end. Let's turn that around this way. Kind of right in there like that. Just a little. And I want to glue it down before I move the frame. Okay. underneath there. Doing that, then I'm pushing it down on it. All right, I think that's enough. I didn't want a lot, just a little bit. Now I've got to get, whoa, the frame glued down. That's going to be fun. So what I guess I'll do is start with this end. 
and go fast. Because hot glue likes to dry. And I don't run out of glue stick on me. Okay, I gotta quit and get it turned over. Gotta be straight. Be where I want you. Up here, right there. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. I got it enough to where I can turn it over and do it some more. But I need another glue stick. Well, I'm about ready for one. Okay. I got off a little bit there, but that's okay. I can trim all that. All right, I am going to go around and finish this up, glue it down. A lot of it's not glued because it dried before I got it done. But I don't want you to have to sit here and watch me go all the way around this frame. And I'll come back and see what it needs. All right, I got to looking at this and can you see, right, you can see that wood and I should have pulled those out. Didn't even notice them. But I'm just gonna push them down, I think, and line the inside up there where that wood doesn't show with this rope from, I guess I got this at Dollar Tree. Must have. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take my hot glue gun and go in there kind of a hard angle. I'm going to have to put it up like this and start gluing it in. And once again, I'm just showing you what I'm doing and I won't have you sit here and watch every little bit of it. Yeah, I think that looks a lot better. A lot, lot better. Kind of adds something to it. Boy, the glue strings are crazy off that glue gun. All right, I'm gonna finish doing that and then see if I think it needs anything else. All right, I got the rope around there and to me it was just looking so plain. So I found some of this. I have a whole big, that was a garland and I took it down for Christmas and I have no idea when I saw this I had a little piece I had cut off from it and I thought oh yeah I have a garland I'll go get some more of that well I went to find it I couldn't find it anywhere and I happened to find something that I had some more stuff down in and I had enough then that way I had this piece here I had cut off but I have a whole garland of this and where I've stuffed it after or before Christmas when I decorated, I don't have a clue. But I decided it looked so plain that I ran a little bit of the greenery around there. I tied a bow, I'm not a bow person. I thought about putting a bow up on it, but I don't know, it's just, just wasn't, that wasn't cutting it for me. So I decided to put some of the greenery around on it. And I'm gonna call that piece finished, except I do have to put a hanger on the back. And it's nice and clean on the back. I mean, it's not bad looking. And for 50 cents and a little bit of uh, other stuff, I think it made a cute project. All right, this should be a fast project. This is uh, a little handmade matchbox, an old fashioned matchbox, and you can definitely tell that somebody has made it. It's cute, 
my sister gave it to me. She thought I would like to have it to make over, and I'm going to do it. It should be fast and easy to do, I hope. Anyways, my plan is I found this uh, packet. It's, called, it's a seed packet, printable seed packet, and I had the side up and was going to get the... Uh, Ural to it where I found it, and we had a power surge, and it shut down, and I couldn't find it. It was off of some seed company, and they had a free printable. But anyways, I saved it, and I did have to resize it to fit inside here. So I resized it, and now I'm going to cut that out. I just printed it out on a piece of cardstock craft paper or the craft color cardstock and I'm going to paint this black and then I have an image from two let's see it's two by four block printables I've used her uh, printables before I, I used one on my uh, Valentine project with a cupid and a little can that I had smashed I used it on that and I've used some of her other other ones, and I'll leave the link to her store on Etsy below. I really like her things, and I've got some more projects of hers coming up that will be really easy. A two by four block, and you have images. All you do is print them out, and you can make something really cute with them. So, anyways, I am going to paint this black and put one of her images on it. Of course, I'll distress it and stuff. And dress it up a little bit and make it look cute and it can sit on the cabinet or anywhere you want it. But I'm going to get started painting this black and give it two coats and distress it. Okay, I have this painted and I only had to give it one coat. I still need to distress it. And I've cut this out before I glue it. And it won't lay flat. I'm going to put something on here. Putting parsley on there. My printing is bad, but it'll be okay. And then I'm going to just glue that together. Didn't have that tipped up, and I've got to wait for it to come down now. Folded it kind of crooked, but it doesn't matter. This was really stiff, and I am going to glue the flap down because I don't need it pushing up. Okay, you got to have, I don't think any more writing will show on that. No, that's good. Okay. Piece of flat there. Set that aside. Now I need to distress my edges. Probably gonna put some wax on that too to seal it. I just think it looks better, not as chalky looking. But I'm gonna glue my little sign on first. And I need, let's see, is that any? I'm looking for some. Maybe this Mod Podge will be okay. It's not real dark. It'll work. That'll work. 
getting the paintbrush here. Kind of runny. All right, now put this, oh, about lost it. I'm gonna have to tip that up. Oh, I don't have anything to hold with, so I'm gonna have to do it like this. So I can see and center it right. I think that is fine. That says ye old crow seeds, ye old crow company with seeds on it. Put this on top. I'm gonna let this dry and I'm gonna go over it with some brown wax just to make sure it's all sealed the paint. And plus I you know I like the color it turns it and you really can't see it in the cramp camera but it does make it look a richer black. Okay, and this uh, image is from uh, oh, two by four, two by four block printables, and I'll leave her link below to her printables. She has some really cute ones, and like I said, I've used them quite a bit. Okay, I am going over this with the brown wax. And I've got some stuff pulled out to put in it, I think. Because I thought these little leaves kind of look like parsley. And I did put parsley on the box. Not that I have to do that. But I'm gonna finish this. and then start working on the inside of it. And it's a simple project. Okay, instead of getting my ink out, I have this brush sitting here, so I'm gonna go over it with some of the wax too. And give it a little different color. Make the edges look old. color looks better than just that color. All right, I like that. Stick that down in there. Now, hate to really glue this down in the box in case I want to redo it. And I'm just using some of this brown, it's kind of paper moss looking stuff, like brown paper bag. Trimming it down a bit. Now, Hoping my glue gun is ready. No, nope, it's not. Well, I'm just gonna stick it down in there and see how I want it and then come back and just take the tips and pull a piece out at a time. And y'all don't have to wait on my glue gun to get hot that way. right in there. Does 
doesn't really want to stay down in there until it's glued. Is that? That needs to go that way. Covering up the sign that says seeds. Try not to. Okay, I like the way that looks right. Like that. Now when my glue gun gets hot, I'll put it all in there. That was a simple project. And I think that'll look cute setting up on a shelf or something. Maybe should have pulled that up. It'll make that a little longer. But I can stick something down in there to kind of pull that up. All right. That's pretty much done. I like the way it looks. Okay. I am finished with it. But I think in the future, probably in another month or so, it's going to have another makeover. Not total. But... I was sitting here looking at it, and I thought, those that would look really cute with, on the top. Here, out here, some uh, the primitive cloth flowers that I make. That would be really cute. Like, these little flowers like this, only in more summer colors. More of a yellow, maybe. This is too large, of course. But, I've got... <laughs> A glue string hanging on to something. <laughs> anyway, some flowers like that. Only small. And then maybe cut out a little wooden, tiny wooden crow to poke down in it. To come up out over the flowers. I think that would be cute. But I'm going to call it good on this one. So guys, until the next one, God bless. And we'll see you later.